Hello friends and followers, we're now up to episode 24, June 2017. There has been a wee break since the last episode, I haven't been very well and I've taken some time to relax. In this episode I'll be talking about blue people being real and the myth of Minch of Scotland. I suppose that's how you say it, Minch. I guess I need a Scottish accent with it. But basically it means a straight, straight between two islands. So where is the street? Uh, here's a map and also a photograph of the street of the islands. It looks very calm and peaceful there at the moment in this photograph, but I bet uh, when the storms roll in it can be quite uh, a different scene and you probably wouldn't want to be caught out in the strait in the storms. So who are these blue men? Well it's not this group here. This is a band that plays in Las Vegas. They're very clever but they use plastic pipes and various drums and stuff. The blue men we're going to be talking about are a bit more scary and they um, try and drown sailors during storms and try to sink their boats to overturn them and cut the sailors under the water. Uh, whether they eat them I don't know. But it sounds horrific if the myth is related to a real event. Um, they have the power to cause storms according to the myth. Um, that kind of sounds like ET technology perhaps. Um, this is why we're talking about it, because it may be related to alien technology of the time. Some stories say that they're all blue, and uh, some say they have grey faces and blue headdresses. Some reports say they have beards, and uh, I'm not too sure if they have fins like a mermaid or a merman, or whatever they're called, um, like these pictures. But they don't sound like your typical alien greys in the water with some sort of swimsuit technology, which is possible I guess. They say they swim under the surface, just below the waves, and in storms pop their heads out. Kind of sounds really like dolphins in that sense. But I haven't seen a dolphin with a blue headdress or beards. I haven't heard of an alien or E.T. having a beard either. <laughs> they are also known as Storm Kelpies and uh, Scottish sailors have reported seeing these creatures over the 19th century. Um, they may have disappeared now if they did exist. Clearly we haven't got any physical evidence or anything on camera and using current technology which kinda then makes it fall into just legends or myths or folklore. Old stories can be broken into three categories history, legends and myths. Legends talk about feats and battles and myths talk about supernatural creatures, gods and stuff like that. Also, water myths and stories were quite common told to children to maybe warn them of dangers. There's also reference to these uh, storm kelpies or blue men having an undersea city inside caverns. I'm not too sure where that comes from, probably from sailor stories. But uh, also there's a reference here that they are fallen angels, which kind of ties into Bible stories where a group go to the skies and another group go into the sea and a third group become the ground dwellers. This ties into their theories and also northern lights and of course the sea creatures, the sea monsters. Of course, ancient aliens people would say the fallen angels were actually ETs visiting Earth. So there's another possibility there, I guess. However, there is a 
story of one being captured while it was sleeping on the surface of the water. They call it a demon, but uh, it's a supernatural creature. And uh, it escaped back into the water after they tied it up and placed it in the hull of the ship and tied it up, but it escaped. Of course, we have no way to verify the story or tell. Yes, I know, you want me to break down the story into science and facts, like I usually do, to see if there's any truth in these myths and stories. So, on with the show. Okay, first of all, there was a meteorite hit straight in that strait there that formed the channel between the islands, and probably why they think there's a big crater at the bottom of the sea, and also possibly caverns caused by the impact. Now, the here's an article here showing some scientific research done to find a material called shock quartz that's only formed by superheat and also an impact shock wave, which suggests a meteorite impact. Rock analysis also confirmed that there were elements that could only come from meteorites. There are some theories that suggest that meteorites also seeded planet Earth with DNA and life, but it also could explain maybe some weird creatures of the sea uh, that are still being discovered. And here are some examples of blue creatures that look like uh, a jellyfish star man and weird looking sea cumbers and uh, fish that with many teeth that look like they're out of an alien movie and miniature sea dragons that are also very bright in colour uh, especially blue as you've heard over the years there's some strange stories about the Baltic Sea anomaly that looks like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars and also it could be a possibly an ancient structure. Also you've got this undersea cavern system off the coast of America. I think it was California, wasn't it? So there's probably a lot of un more unknown on our planet in the seas than there is out in the universe. So we've still got lots to learn, lots to discover and lots of exploring to do. In future, man could even be living under the sea. Look at some of these designs, uh, biosphere under the sea, and uh, a house that's actually under the sea, and also experimental sea labs done by the government, uh, mainly because they might even have to set up a ba undersea base on another planet or moon to do research. So yeah. Who's going to be lucky people to do that in the future? They even found that kids that lived near the sea and did a lot of diving, um, their DNA changed their eyes so they could see better under the sea, which is quite interesting. So evolution is happening even nowadays. Here's an interesting article talking about a parallel universe under our sea, which they really mean is there's a uh, life that exists without sunlight and it was found micro microorganism system between layers of rock which didn't need sunlight and were living off uh, chemicals produced from the rock itself so it gives even more hope that there'll be life out in other planets and moons under rocks or seas or oceans I had a look to see if I could find any UFO stories involving crashes into the sea from outer space or USOs, uh, not UFOs, uh, unknown submerged objects, which could be anything that's not known to be a ship or a submarine or a creature. And I found this report here in 1961 talking about uh, a crash into the sea but I couldn't find much of anything else but it might be that um, there's no reports that's been searched and indexed by Google or I just didn't use the right keywords but uh, I was hoping to find some old stories of the 19th century 
of possible UFOs, a aliens. You may also, if you haven't done so already, watch uh, the episode called Green People, which is similar to this episode, and also uh, alien abductions cases and uh, the research that's done there. Of course, I was looking for Scottish UFO sightings for around that area of Minch Sea. Some researchers have looked into the myth and suggested that the blue men were in fact um, Viking pirates that had slaves from Africa. And they say that um, a tribe in Africa called the Blue Tribe of the Desert uh, all paint their faces blue and wear blue cloth clothing could explain for um, them being sighted in the sea, being washed overboard in the sea and maybe just floating on the water but I don't think so so much um, also Vikings used to have face paint that was blue and have tattoos that maybe were blue and black and uh, they could have been seen uh, swimming out of the water after losing their ship or capsizing and uh, maybe that's where the legend come from but again I'm not too sure if that's correct so I looked a bit more into this and see if there were any th real people with blue skin apparently even the Mayans used the blue paint to paint all the bodies well, apparently there are blue humans that have blue skin um, due to um, genetic inbreeding of all things and also from silver poisoning. Uh, here's some articles I found. One talking about a family in uh, Kentucky that um, suffered from blue skin and they looked into it as scientists and found it was actually they had blue blood and uh, they found the only cure was to give them some dye that goes into the blood which um, counteracts the blue and turns them back into a pink color but uh, yeah very interesting story there I'll let you have a read of that Then we have colloidal silver supplement um, from people taking it apparently will turn blue from silver poisoning. Um, here is a picture of a man and uh, it talks a wee bit about um, what, why he was taking it to uh, clear up a skin condition and uh, it seems that certain circumstances it can actually um, change the skin pigment so yeah so apparently some blue people are real and blue men so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little episode and uh, hit the like button on the way out to help promote it and uh, share it on your social media I uh, hope you Stay well until I see you next episode.